right, well, here's some good news. I was uh, successful in building a better uh, single-phase induction AC motor. And I used a bunch of different designs and put them together and uh, had real success today with this um, induction motor that I'm studying. And there's a reason I'm studying this. Uh, of course, it's, it's th the fact that the magnetic field rotates around and uh, causes this rotation, but I'm really studying uh, pulse motors and the uh, brushless DC pulse motors and how they, they move the field around in a circle. Uh, they switch it, but in AC they just uh, set up a phase differential and they uh, do it with a capacitor on this uh, single phase uh, induction motor. Anyway, um, it was very, very successful. I had to do a bunch of things to make it work. Uh, first off, this was the uh, diagram of how that is set up. And there's the gentleman who I really followed right there. Now, Christine, I think, was the first one that set this thing up with this Smucker's jar lid. And um, she was doing a, a research uh, for school, evidently, working on her... Uh, graduate degree when she made one of these things and then there's been a bunch of people copy it and of course I'm I'm doing it too but uh, this gentleman here took it one step further and he used a regular um, induction motor rotor and made it uh, more precise but he had this great diagram here that I followed and his idea of using the two electrolytics back to back that got me going on this. I was stalled until I, I learned out about it. I couldn't find an AC cap to make it work but anyway, also the way this is wired up, uh, this diagram really helped me. So I'm going to give a link to his uh, video on this, and then I'll give a link to Christine's video. But um, a few things I had to start first. I, I went to a, uh, a regular AC power supply, and I, what I did was I took one of these uh, wall wart big transformers, and I took the guts out of it here. This is the rectifier that takes it from AC into DC with a bridge rectifier and a smoothing capacitor. And then uh, before I ever got going on this, I put a fuse in it right there. It's a two amp fuse so I don't cause any problems. And then uh, I put a switch on it so I can turn it on and off. And then I put an indicator light on it so I can see when it's on. And that just goes across the input now this is what's kind of weird about my motor you see this little tiny thing right there that's a 47 microfarad 35 volt electrolytic capacitor instead of these uh, capacitors there I was doing it that way and then I, I kept fiddling around with different capacitors and for some reason I'm getting by with that little uh, 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor the coils are very different than the other people's coils. What I did was I used um, plastic sewing machine bobbins and wound up 32 gauge uh, magnet wire on them. Uh, they measure about 18 ohms. And then these are just uh, bolts. And then I built up this little platform which is a piece of wood with uh, those tongue depressor sticks with a little uh, matchstick, square matchstick as a support and then glued them on and then you have to adjust this gap here and it's really really critical if you don't get that gap right the motor doesn't run right so anyway those are some tips on it but um, the rotor another thing is I just used a brass brad nail and then the uh, Smucker's jar lid has a uh, a dimple in it and what you've got is a brass against steel which is a pretty darn good bearing and I just used some tape here to help balance out the the rotor and the good thing about these Smucker's jar lid is they've got this crosshatch um, pattern on it so it helps you find the center of that lid and then the uh, you hear that thing hum that's the 60 Hertz Get this on here. Turn it off. <laughs> and 
Okay, there it's just sitting there. I turned the power off, and let me show you how it starts up. It wobbles around a little bit, but not bad. But uh, this works so much better than that other one that I was, uh, the prototyping that I was fiddling around with. It's just uh, way better. And uh, this is running on 12 volts, not 24. And like I say, I'm, I'm using it right out of the wall. Using this uh, rather substantial amp and a half um, transformer. And like I say, be sure and put yourself a fuse in it and then put yourself an on off switch and then some way to, to let yourself know if you've got power and it works guys this is something and there's a bunch of different variations of this online um, if you can study up on it but uh, this is one I really recommend some of the guys were doing this for school projects to either uh, for their school or the instructors were doing it for a class project I think so anyway this is a winner this is one that I would recommend that uh, Anyone studying electronics, uh, take the time to build one of these up. Thanks for watching.